There, hello again everybody, and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. The other day I did a video on how to play mediums, and I did a stream later that day, and somebody said, look, why don't you do a video on how to play heavies? And then somebody mentioned it also in the World of Tanks Blitz official Discord. And that got me thinking, because a lot of people make a lot of mistakes when they play heavy tanks. And I'm not by far trying to profess here that I'm an expert at the game or I'm all-knowing, all-seeing type guru. I'm not. But there are a lot of basic mistakes that players make when they play heavies. And I've been seeing those mistakes highlighted a lot more recently with the influx of newer players into the top tiers. Now, the thing is, heavy tanks are by far the easiest class of tank to play in the tiers, especially at tier 10. They are a lot easier than the meds, the TDs and the lights. However, that doesn't mean to say that they're you know, the easiest tanks to play because tier 10 tanks are not easy to play. And there are a few things you need to understand about the tanks that you're playing and rolling out with. Yes, heavy tanks are easier, more noob friendly than most tanks. But even within the category of heavies, there are some heavy tanks that are very tricky to play. And the first thing you need to know about whatever tank you're driving, be it a light tank, a medium, a heavy, or a TD, you need to understand your tank. You need to know what your tank can do, what its strengths are, and what its weaknesses are. If you don't know what your tank can do, then you, automatically you're on the back foot. Secondly, you need to understand the maps. Without knowing the maps, then it's, an, it, you know, knowing your tank is one part of the battle. Knowing the maps is the other, because you need to know where to put your tank, okay, to get the maximum benefit out of the tank you're rolling out with. Now, what I've seen recently with a lot of heavy drivers is, especially in tier 10, is that they do things that they shouldn't be doing, like flanking. Um, the idea of a heavy tank is not to flank. That's the idea of a medium. And somebody said to me in the stream, the game has morphed whereby mediums now do the role of a heavy and the heavies are trying to do the role of a medium. Now, a couple of things with that. Firstly, that is pretty true. You do get a lot of heavy tank drivers playing the role of a medium tank. Heavies are not meant to do that. Why? They don't have the mobility, okay? So you, you start some games and you see the heavies go flanking around the other side of the map. Now, a couple of things about that. Firstly, that's generally because they misread the lineup. And secondly, it's because well, that's the way they're, that's the direction they're pointing in, so they're going to go that way. Then you get those players who either A, camp at the back of the heavy, I've had that, or just rush straight in because why not? I've got all this armor and all these hit points, and therefore, it, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely impenetrable to everything when you're not. So what is the actual role of a heavy tank in the game? Now, the role of a heavy tank is to be a bully. It's to be a, it's, that's all it's designed to do, okay? It is a bully. And when I say it's a bully, that doesn't mean say it has to roll in and be a pain in the backside, as in, you know, lose all your hit points straight away. When I say be a bully, you have to do things like what I'm doing here. You have to sucker the enemy onto you, okay? And you have to try and know your armor profile to angle it nicely to get those bounces. That is what you're meant to be doing in a heavy. It's not meant to be one big mad rush or push, okay? You push when you need to push. You're meant to be putting your tank in a position to use that gun for maximum damage. But, but, at the same time, in real terms, you should have tanks behind you in second line, be it your TDs or your mediums, farming the damage. Because that is the whole idea. The heavies are a bully. Okay. Now, some heavies come with massive stonking armor, like the mouse, which plays in a different role. The idea of the mouse is to tie up the enemy tanks okay and it you know generally speaking you should be tying up between two to three enemy tanks they should be firing you know everything into you 
whilst your mediums and your other heavies or your TDs are just behind you farming those tanks. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. And that's just a quick overview with that battle. I'm not setting the world on fire with this tank. It's the Type 71. We do just over 4k damage. We get two kills and we have a good time. But I'm going to concentrate on two other replays in two heavy tanks that aren't as heavily armored um, and that are more hull down because I'm playing the Type 71 without its hull down equipment, playing it with its mobility equipment. So we're going to look at a Chieftain Mark VI first, okay, in a supremacy battle. And I'm going to talk you through how I am playing that heavy tank. Right, here we are in a Chieftain Mark VI. I'm tuned up with Charm, actual monkey of the clan paint. He is in a Concept 1B, and we're here on Naval Frontier in a Supremacy Battle. The Chieftain Mark VI is a fantastic tank, okay? It's a beautiful haul down tank. It does have, however, a haul that can be easily penetrated, but it's got a pretty good gun, pretty decent reload, doesn't dish out massive dirt, um, and in a haul down position, the gun depression is beautiful. So that is what we're going to do. We're going to sit on this little ridge, haul down, and we're going to try and suck at the enemy. Now look, we've got four tanks in front of us. And if you look at the mini-map, okay, there's me and my teammate. We've got another heavy further back to the right-hand side and a TD behind us. We have got five enemy tanks here. There are five. Look at the mini-map. So we are doing what we're meant to do in a heavy. We are tying up the guns of the enemy team, okay? We're in a pretty, pretty secure position, although we do get smacked by the Sheridan there, but that was a great shot. But we're doing what we're meant to be doing in a heavy. We're tying up the enemy tanks. This allows, if you look at the top of the minimap, just over the sea cap, our, our light and our medium to harass that enemy over there, which is what they're doing. So I've got minimal tanks here. There are four of us here and three of us over the other side and the majority of the enemy tanks over this side. This is what heavies should be doing, guys. We should be harassing and bullying. I've seen the T-57 heavy. He is frustrated because he can't get any shots, so he's going to push me. He's already fired two shots. Now he is out for the count. I'm just going to track him into place and then I'm going to push onto him, get up close and personal because the Chieftain has pretty good turret armor. And I'm just going to bully him and harass him. I've lost quite a bit of hit points, but this is a heavy tank, and I can take that. And down goes one of their heavies. They've now lost two tanks. Their IS-7, I can now see, is out of position. My, my two-mate will finish off their other heavy. I now tell my two-mate that we're going to push on the IS-7. Unfortunately, I, I did say that I'll take the shot from the IS-7, but the IS-7 gets the shot off before I get there. I tried to hit him, but it's an IS-7. I get spaced armor, so I'm going to just put him into place. My two-mate tracks him with a, a, a well-timed HE. Unfortunately, my two-mate does get wrecked, um, unfortunately for him, because the IS-7 desperately wanted to kill him. However, I will get revenge, and this is what we do. So we held that ridge for quite a long time. We tied their tanks up for quite a long time, and we pushed when we needed to push. And that is the thing. You've got to pick your targets. You know, I looked at the 57 Heavy, he got frustrated, he pushed, that was his problem. We then finished him off, turned around, and then pushed on to the IS-7 and took them out. Now, look, I'm not professing to say this is the best game you'll ever see anybody play in a Mark VI. It's not. But the basic concepts are there. Use the parameters of the tank. Use its haul down capability. Use what it's got, okay? And you will then start to see how to play heavies more effectively. We have a good game here, just over 4,000 in damage. We bounce 840, we take three kills, which is beautiful, and we have a good game. But the more important thing is this, we did our job. We read the lineup, we knew that some of their tanks were gonna go to, to the sea cap. I didn't expect a lot of them to go there, but there were a lot of them there. We tied them up and we were able to whittle them down and that is the point of playing a heavy now you could turn around and say yeah but come on fuji the team that you were facing wasn't that experienced you're going to get that guys you're going to get experienced teams and inexperienced teams and in this case maybe the team was inexperienced but in the next replay that i'm going to show you on halas which is not supremacy 
believe me, the team is slightly more experienced. Here we are on Halas in the American Heavy, the T95E6. Now, this is a collector, so it's not in the tech tree, and it's not the easiest of heavies to play. But it is a beautiful tank, and the reason I say it's not the easiest of heavies to play is because it's got massive cupola, and it's got a relatively poor hull. But, like the Mark VI, it's fantastic hull down, it's got pretty decent gun depression, and it's got a pretty accurate gun. Okay, it's not dishing out that massive derp, but it is dishing out damage every nine seconds, and that for a heavy tank is pretty nice. So it's got a fast reload. Now, the thing about this tank is, like the Mark VI, you need to know those parameters, and you need to know where you can stick it on a map. Bat chap makes a mistake here, we're gonna smack him, as you can see, 385, not shabby, not the best, but not shabby for a heavy. I'm going to work the undulations. Now, I know for a fact the other side have got an OP tomb. They've got a T100 hour TB and driven by a 71% win rate player after all of 70 odd thousand battles. And they've got an IS-7 being driven by a 69% win rate player, both of whom are in professional clans and they are OP. So I'm mindful of that. They're, the enemy team, therefore, is not shabby, okay? So why would you can turn around and say, oh, the last team were a bit sort of hit and miss, well, this team is more OP. So we're going to work these ridges. We're going to pick our targets and we're going to work that ridge line. And that's exactly what we're doing. We are working the ridges and we are take, we're, we're taking shots where we can. Now, I'm not massively frontlining here, okay? I'm getting the tank into a position where I can use the gun and use that, that pretty accurate gun to harass the enemy, okay? We've already done 2,000 damage. We've just bounced 460. We are doing okay here. Okay, now look at the enemy's heavies. Okay, forget the IS-7, because he did his, he, he did what he was meant to do. But look where their 60TP and their E100 are. They, they, they flanked all the way around. Now, I don't know if that was the call. I don't know if, if, what the idea was there. But the bat chat spotted up in the majority of our team. Admittedly, three of our tanks went down. But we've now got two heavies against four tanks. That makes it pretty difficult for them to come back from this game. Again, I'm just going to sit here and farm. So I'm now, you know, I said earlier, don't play a heavy like a medium. This is playing more like a medium because it is realistically a heavy um. And therein lies the thing. Now, I've got a super heavy here. Now, the super heavy, this E100, flank round, he's out of position, he, he didn't get his gun into the battle quickly enough, and now he's just being absolutely pummeled. And this is the thing, same with the 60 TP. Now, I'm not saying that they've done badly, because they've whittled our team down, don't forget it was four against two, it's now two against two, and it was now two against one actually. But I'm still gonna be giving this 60p a hard time, because I can, because I know what the tank can do. We're already at 3k damage. I'm gonna push round and I'm gonna try and track him in position. I do, hoping that the TD on my team comes around and smacks him. Uh, not TD, sorry. Uh, it was, uh, it was no, it was the TD, but he gets killed. And I finish him off. And that is, you know, a good game. Okay, I only take one kill, but I do four point something damage. And that's the idea, guy, 4.6k. I damaged seven, I assisted with 741. I get a first class, I'm not setting the world on fire. And this is the thing you need to know about heavies. Don't go rushing headlong, okay? If you rush in headlong, you're going to get focused, you're gonna get punished, and you're gonna get wrecked. You see their E100 there has only done um, four, 765 damage. That is not what you should be doing in an E100, guys, to be fair. You know, you are a super heavy, and you should be doing bigger damage than that. I mean, you, you've got a gun that's knocking out close to, you know, just over 600. So doing 765 means you fired, realistically, two shots. And in a super heavy, with that many hit points and that armor profile, th that's not effective, okay? And it's not effective because that heavy tank flanked. And he didn't need to flank. He was out of the battle for too long, by the time he got there, most of his team has been wrecked, and he has very limited options, okay? So you've got to know what you're doing and where you're doing it.
So whilst heavy tanks are the easiest of all the classes of tanks to play, they're still not as easy as people think. Okay, And like all tanks, there are different types of heavies and they all come with different parameters, which is why I keep telling people and begging people, know your tank. You can't play a VK-72 the same way as you play a Type 71. You can't play the mouse the same way as you would play a Mark VI. It is therefore crucial that you understand your tank. You need to know what your tank can do. You need to know what is the strengths and weaknesses of the tank. Now this is a Type 71 and I know the strengths of this tank is its frontal armor, simple. So I can stick the frontal armor sort of out there and it's gonna be difficult for people to bend me, simple. But I also know the tanks like the Mark VI Great haul down tank, fantastic turret, apart from the Capola, which you can HE. Know your tank. That is important. Equally as important, know your maps. Know where to put your tank. And once you, those are two basics. Once you know that, learn how to angle. Know the armor profile of your tanks. Know what your tanks can and cannot do. Because it's critical guys when you're playing at tier 10 and you're playing heavies they're not the same resist the temptation to flank around the map that's not the point of a heavy the heavy tank is not meant to flank it doesn't have the mobility you saw that with the e100 in the last game resist it because you're out of the battle and if you're a super heavy like an e100 that's a huge gun out of the battle being useless and do not for the love of everything camp at the back you are a heavy tank you haven't got the best of guns okay it's not the most accurate you camping at the back is denying your team exactly what they need which is a big gun that is a bully that is a bullet catcher because heavy tanks like the e100 like the mouse etc etc are there to sucker the enemy into shooting them don't stick yourself out on a ridge so you can be pummeled to death but angle your tank if the enemy is shooting you they're not shooting your mediums or the other tanks in your team allowing those tanks to farm this is basic one-on-one -on -one how to play a tank okay and the amount of mistakes i see creeping into tier 10 is massive players don't know what they should be doing they don't know how to angle the tank they don't know the armor profile of the tank they don't know the maps and they end up going off in strange directions, doing strange things and being completely useless, like we saw the E100 do. Anyway, I've been fooded. That's been my guide to playing heavies on a basic, basic level. I didn't show you this replay as in comment on it because this guy was AFK and there's no point. It was an easy, like, 3.9k or whatever it was, mainly because he was AFK with free damage. There's no point commenting on that. Um, so I didn't. I'd love to hear your comments on this one, guys. Oh, I'd love to hear what you've got to say about playing heavies. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. And until then, remember this. The whole idea is this is a game. It's there for fun, enjoyment. So stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. Because that really is what it's all about. Having fun. Being happy.